Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Jack and I wanted to talk to you a little bit here. I was thinking about bridge fishing, okay? Bridge fishing. Let's say you're, uh, you're wanting to hit the bridge tonight. Whatever bridge. Let's take the one here in Pensacola. And let's say you're wanting to hit redfish, okay? Redfish love to, to hit the lights, okay? Lights congregate bait, bait fish. And when you got a lot of bait fish around, you're going to have big fish, okay? So uh, when, when you're trying to fish these, these bridges, you got to take a few things into account, okay? Tides. What's high tide? What's low tide? Um, how is it going to be ripping through? Is it going to be slow? Is it going to be fast? And uh, how is that going to change the bite that you're trying to get put on? Second thing, okay, is time, okay? The time that you're wanting to go fish, okay? How does that affect your spot? All these spots are going to be different, okay? Whether you're fishing South Florida or Pensacola, that bridge is going to react different to time. You know, some of these fish like to come out at night, okay? A lot of them, some of them like to come out in the morning, okay? That has to do with the tide coming and going. Are we fishing deep? Or are we fishing shallow? Are we going to fish the big part of the bridge or the low part of the bridge? The time is going to have a lot to do. Like, where I fish, you know, you're talking late at nights when the bite turns on. You know, how long have those lights been on? You know, did it just get dark? You know, is it going to get sunrise soon? You know, think about these things when you're out there um, thinking about when you're going to hit the water, okay? And when is it going to be calm and when is it going to be rough, you know? Sometimes the wind picks up in the afternoon. Sometimes it's dead before the sun comes up or just after the sun comes up. Take those things into account. Next thing is going to be your bait, okay? Are you going to catch it? Are you going to use artificials? Um, are you going to buy it? Are you going to use dead bait? And this is spot specific, spot specific. You know, some places you get away with dead bait. Some places you got to have real live shit. You know, you got to have real live junk. Um, you know, live mullets, live menhaden, live whatever, you know. And uh, if you're fishing artificial, are you going top water? Are you swimming it or are you putting it on bottom? You know, you got to think about these things. Think, think, think about how you're going to fish this bridge. Just like if you're going to attack the enemy, you know, where's your fatal funnel? You know, how are you going to, how are you going to, how are you going to ambush this enemy? Because that's what they're doing. They're ambushing their prey. And that, that boils into the strategy of, you know, how are you going to fish the bridge? Are you going to run and gun it? You know, are you going to run through the middle of the bridge, looking through the lights and see if you see them running the lights and then, go, and then toss in front of them? Or are you going to fish each piling slow? starting at a specific point. You know, a lot of times when you fish a bridge a lot, you have certain spots on that bridge that you've marked on your fish finder. And you're like, this, I'm gonna hit this spot. I'm gonna fish for 10 minutes. I'm gonna move to this spot. I'm gonna fish it for 10 minutes. You know, I'm just gonna throw a couple times and move. Throw a couple times and move. You know, some people run and gun. I like to run and gun. It keeps me, keeps me more, more into it. You know, I get bored real fast. Um, and some people will fish one pole for 20 minutes and move on to the next pole or the net one set of pylons and then the next set of pylons and then the next set of pylons or slow jigging just bouncing as you're pedaling you know that works too and that boils down into the time of year okay strategy and time of year are going to be together so if they're deep so I guess it's cold okay fish are going to be probably deep you know it's warmer down there so they're going to be on the bottom you're throwing jigs, okay? Let's say it's summertime, water temperature is 80 degrees, all right? You're going to be throwing top water probably, or you're going to be running fast swim baits because, you know, cold blooded fish move faster when it's warm, you know? You're on bottom, you're moving slow, you're up top, you're moving fast, you know? Those, those are all in your strategy and how you're going to do it. So I hope I covered some good things here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Yak Molly on Facebook and uh, Instagram and Twitter, Jack Molly Live. Um, if you got any questions, shoot them to me. Uh, you know, I'm trying to do these little daily blogs here and put all my, my knowledge on this little YouTube channel because it took a lot of time for me to learn this stuff. So uh, that's all I got. See you later.